Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome. Happy Friday. The day after Valentine's Day. How's everybody doing? On this 15th of February. Good to see you. All right. Good, good, good. Good morning, everybody. Mark, there you go. Donna, George, John, everyone. So did anyone celebrate uh, Valentine's Day yesterday? Everybody go out and, you know, take their uh, their sweetie out. Anybody buy their husby something? All right, good. Like I said, I, I, I celebrate the day before Valentine's Day, so I cut the lines and stuff like that. It's just it's just a trader's mentality, right? It's right before the curb. <laughs> Something sometimes I implement my, my trading with my everyday life and it's pretty funny. Do it the day before. Um, all right. So anyway, guys, uh, listen, a lot of news going on today. Obviously, today is Friday. OK, so what does that tell us? Today is going to really be. Listen, you see it already. It's going to be a slow day. Does anybody know why it's a slow day? My fellow traders, all my, my students, you should know this. Why is it going? Why is it a slow day? Exactly. Deb Fine. Everyone's out there. OK, so it's it, Monday's President's Day. And not only is it President's Day on Monday, but kids are all from school next week. I don't know where you are uh, anywhere in the country, in the world, but our kids here in the United States and New York are off uh, for winter break. So what does that what does that happen? A lot of people went away. I just dropped my kid off at school. I dropped him to school uh, at high school. It was like usually it's a parking lot to pull in. It's, I literally just pulled up in the front. A lot of kids took off already uh, from uh, for today parents going away so you could see it's affecting the market i mean look look just look over here in the big percentage gainers uh on the trade station on the left the biggest percentage gainer stock is at 16 percent, 31,000 shares that's a joke okay we we had stocks that are up you know we had millions of shares lots of them in the gainers in pre-market so just listen, uh, it, it, things could change. I mean, there are some good stocks that are moving. There's this one, Seabay. Uh, some of you guys are already doing pretty well on it in pre-market. You know, I know some of you guys traded already. There's a couple other ones out there, Alpha and some of them. But uh, just let's, let's not get too cocky. Don't don't expect that it's going to be like a Monday, you know, a Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. I mean, we had a great week so far. So uh, we got to take it with a grain of salt. So let's be very careful of that. All right. And and by the way, it's it, it's one of the the greatest things of learning. I mean, I hate holidays. I hate it with a passion because, you know, as a trader, you know, I know everyone's like, oh, but you get the day off. You know, well, first of all, we, we're open. You know, we're, we won't be in the trading room, but we'll be open here. But uh, but the thing is this to me. It's like I lose like two, three days of trading. I lose Friday. I lose Tuesday. You know, whenever people try to recuperate, it uh, earnings, everything comes out. Everything slows down. So um, so just be very careful, guys, uh, regarding about today. So let's not get too cocky. But but we've learned that sometimes we traded days like this. this uh, we only need one. That's it. There are 25,000 stocks out there. We only need one good one to make our days pay. So let's talk about what those day uh, those g number one stocks look like. All right, let's talk about the, the, the fun one that we had yesterday. Dude, we killed it, killed it with FUV. Holy cow. This thing was just amazing. Um, once again, another easy mover. Right early this morning, stock went from three in less than an hour and a half, was already at six. A lot of us called it quits even when it got to 450, made a day's pay. And then you know how we don't trade. Listen, a lot of you have to understand what we do is not a full time job. OK, it's just not. We only trade in the morning. We trade in the afternoon. We do some pre-market and we're done. You could be done. You could have, you could have been done in 30 minutes. If you came here in the afternoon. No problem. Went from 450. The stock went all the way up to 750. I mean, where do you find that? Where do you find stocks like that? It's just unbelievable. It was just it was just so much fun uh, yesterday trading that stock. And then we had this one right here. The C uh, the CTL. What a great short. That thing was just like. You know, hey, the trend is your friend. Just went boom, 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 straight down. You know, that one also did pretty well. And, you know, I'm not going to go back. And, you know, one of the big winners that we had uh, was Solo. Let me just bring back this 10 days ago. But you could see this stock was just, you know, 
this is what you get like on 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 days like on hump days like Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Solo was just great. We had a little bit of a move, but when I go back, you can see one from a buck fifty to six fifty. I know I had some people that are 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 just coming here trying us out, and they missed a couple of days. You know, listen, this is what we this is what we uh, we trade, and uh, I think that's about it. I think we uh, all of them. So anyway, yeah, that was basically what we had as of uh, this week that were really, really big winners. Now, regarding about what we're going to look on going on, uh, look and going on today, um, you know, listen, I just want to kind of stress something very important um, here at Cyber Trade University in the trading room. You know, we take this, this take this very, very seriously. I know there are a lot of people here that have been looking and finding the right fit for you. Well, listen, I know I know that. Uh, you know, one thing that people get very shocked here, at, you know, when you when you come in Cyber Trade University or you're doing a trial or whatever, they're shocked that somebody even calls them. They're shocked that somebody even knows what they're talking about. They're shocked that they're not being transferred to some place in another country other than their main corporate office dealing a call center. Listen, we take this very, very seriously. And I'll tell you why. OK, I hate seeing people lose money. You know, every single one of you. That, you know, and there's people on YouTube watching this right now, you know, because um, when we post this in our Facebook and whatever it is, we post this video. But just to kind of clarify for all of you guys, you know, being here, um, some of us, you know, really need to make extra money. We know Social Security is not paying enough. We don't want to live off our pension. We get older, so we have more medical bills. Um, you know, some people are just out of a job or just need, want to have the freedom, just sick and tired, you know, working for somebody and just want to enjoy life and live better and do this, you know, and the luxury of their home. But you got to do it right, you know, and it, and the thing is this, you know, I know some of you here are trialing it and, or th considering it, you know, just do, you know, focus, see what these people are doing because, you know, let me just tell you a funny story. Somebody, uh, and, and it came up yesterday, okay? And I just want to kind of just point this out. Somebody said to me, they says, Fausto, I don't understand. You know, everybody talks about they're making money in this trading room, but I really don't hear too many people talking about losing money, right? And then like, I know that. They're like, but that doesn't make sense. I mean, don't people lose money in trading? And I'm like, oh, we lose money in our trading room. They're like, um, don't, don't, but I see everyone's making money in the room. I very little I see losing. I says, you know why that is? Because we don't have a thousand, two thousand people in this room. Okay, we're very, very selective who we want in this room. And the reason is this: if you're doing a, you know, we get hundreds of people that apply to want to be part of CTU, and we only take maybe five percent of you that we accept to be part of this room because we know it's not for you, and we don't. Want, and you know, it's some of you probably already realize it's not for you. So I just want to take that point to point out because a lot of people look at it. They're in this room. They say, Faust, you've been in business for 25 years. You know, why are you doing this so long? What is your reason for it? You all know the reason for it because listen, the way I make money is is trading with you. I need to train people how to make money, but some of you really don't qualify. And, and remember, that is okay, all right? But if you really want to know if you're really qualified, talk to education advisor. Let him, let him, you know, add, you know, talk to you. Let him know a little bit about you. You know, listen, you're not going to get brain surgery if you didn't get consulted first, you know? So be very, very careful when it comes to trading. Uh, most of us post our losses as well as our wins, Wayne says. Yes, and, and but the thing is, Wayne, unfortunately, some people think that you don't post enough losses. And I'm like, well, because we don't have that we don't have that many of the losses. We lose, but we don't lose that much. You know, we win more. And the reason for it is because we were trained and we selectively picked certain people to be part of it and do it right. And believe me, some people finally realize we're in this room. They're like, oh, now I get it. Now I know why I... I can't make money doing this. And you know what? We're happy that you learn the the easy way because if you think this is expensive getting into this room, imagine losing 900, 1,000, 10,000 in one trade. And that is a catastrophe. All right. So um, now let's talk about what is moving this morning. Now, remember what I told you. And, and by the way, I just want to get that off my chest because, you know, I had a gentleman yesterday I was talking to and I just felt bad for him. You know, he had like he had like 400,000 in the market and he was just being plain old ignorant. He's like, well, one hundred and fifty dollars is expensive to be in a trading room. I, I you know, nine dollars sounds like a good deal. OK, well, let me just tell you one funny one last story. Before we go through the watch list, some of you remember this guy. I talked about him about a year ago. He bought a stock that was it was at was at two hundred and sixty dollars, and it went all the way down to one fifty. 
And he was in a trading room because people don't think the stocks that we trade or don't make money. So he bought a hundred and fifty dollar stock and I told him, I says, and he was losing um he was losing about thirty percent of his uh, portfolio and um the stock went from fifty down to 110 when I spoke to him and he bought a 150 and he's like, you know, I, I got to make my money back and this and that. And I told him, I says, you know what? The stock is going a lot lower. He says, how do you know that? He says, that's what we teach you. Well, I'll make a long story short. He didn't want to become a student because he was trying to make back the money he lost. You know where that stock ended up going? Down to $6. Lost everything. Everything. Um, what was it? Was the I think it was the uh, what was the VRS trade? What was that stock? Remember that stock we traded that went from two sixty went all the way down to six dollars? Was it v VRS v VRX VRX? Thank you very much, Ray. Apparently, it's not up there anymore. I think they were so embarrassed they changed the symbol. So anyway, uh, just want to get that chest because I, I just I, you know I just feel so bad for some of these people that just don't get it. You know I hate seeing people lose money. All right, so let's go through some of the watch list of stocks that are going on this morning. First of all, guys, there are a couple of decent stocks that are moving, not the greatest, but we got a couple of them that are moving. Let's start off with the SAEX. That stock had some good, uh, uh, I guess, good earnings after hours. Uh, this stock you could see right here back in October. And what, this is why I'm bringing the stock up. The stock in one day, you remember this. Go back to your journals. The stock went from five up to thirty dollars in one day. So we know this thing could move. So and we know this thing does have a short squeeze in it if it does kick in. And we also traded it uh, back in January where it went from like two dollars to about six dollars. So this stock, we traded it. We've done well with it in the past. Let's keep an eye on it again. No guarantee it's going to do it, do the same thing, but you never know. Another one that's moving is the CER. RC. The stock is gapped up a little bit, took a little bit of a hit from five all the way down to 450. It's up a little bit, you know, 10, 13%. It's okay. We'll see, you know, like I said, we'll be getting a little desperate here, so we got to throw what we can. This one uh, obviously is moving pretty nicely. Decent volume, 75,000 shares up 11%. Only concern right now is it's testing resistance levels back here in January. It's got a couple iceberg orders, not really the thing that really impresses me that much compared to some of the ones we traded, you know, in the last couple of days. Another one that's getting crushed right now um, is this MRIN. The stock, you remember the stock we traded in December. It went from 3 to 12 um, right there. Boom, we had a fun day trading that stock. Well, apparently it's not doing too well right now, but it is coming someplace pretty close to support levels. 52,000 shares down 29%. Um, you know, looking how that pre-market traded uh, after hours trading how it kept breaking lower lows should give you an indication if you're a student you know where that thing is going another one we traded many times in the past um is this alpha trade you know she gapped up pretty big this morning and she started breaking lower lows i don't know what happened there she was at close to 10 she went down to 960 it's not a lot she didn't drop that much but she's got great orders look at all these orders out there on the matrix you know on the level three you know over almost 550,000 shares traded. So um, that one's not bad. XPO is one last one I want to keep an eye on too. The stock, $110 stock. Hey, you don't think the stock can go down to zero? <laughs> Imagine waking up and 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 uh, getting crushed on this one. So anyway, uh, the stock is didn't do too well. Looks like earnings didn't really kick in too well because always can see the news that came out right here. It always happens after hours, but. Um, it's a little bit more of an advanced stock. It's got a little big spread. You got to be a level five trader here, CTU. And, uh, you know, I want to keep an eye and see the support levels right here if it gets anywhere near. But it's testing some major supports at 50. Uh, it's testing after hours at 50. If it holds here, maybe you'll get, we'll get a little bit of a, a you know, a de uh, I'm going to call it a dead cat bounce. That's called more of a bottom fish right there. But let's see how it holds up. All right. Anything, uh, anything I'm missing I did not call out, guys? Anything I'm calling? Oh, one last thing. People always asking me. I know there's some private chatting. People asking me. Heard the news yesterday regarding about Amazon, and everybody wanted me to, uh, you know, kind of asking my personal opinion. And you know, I don't like to get involved in politics, you know, um, because we're all the same party when it comes to trading. To me, I was just looking at ways to kind of benefit from that news. That is a huge, huge blow for New York City. Uh, and and it's not, it was a Republican, but it, it was a Democrat thing, whatever it is. But they're all in favor of it. Everyone liked it. But, uh, you know, as a, you know, so as a trader, 
I thought I could short Amazon, didn't really do anything. So I thought something was going to trickle down, but uh, that's the only time I probably would ever trade it. But what is what it is. So uh, that's old. That's the old news. Let's focus on the new news. All right. Anything I'm missing I did not call out? Lita says uh, the DCB. Did I call that one out yet? The DCB? No, that one's not coming out. L-O-G-M. You know, I saw this one earlier, and the only thing I had, a, I was a little concerned about it. It's a very fast-moving stock. I, you know, the L, the it, it got really crushed. It's a level five stock. Doesn't really have that mice iceberg orders, but I'll throw it in there, Lita. Just you know, remember, you got to be an advanced trader to trade this one right here. It's going to be pretty damn volatile. Uh, you got some major support levels right around 760, so we could be focused on that. All right. All right, everyone. Listen. Good luck today. Happy trading. Markets open up in five minutes, and uh, we'll see you back here on. Uh, we'll be back. We'll, we'll, we'll do the afternoon at 2:30. Not expecting it to be a crazy one, but I always like to trade. You know, days like this in the afternoons because you know there's always somebody has to come out with news, and all the assistants are there, so it makes the stocks you know an easy trend. But remember, we'll be closed on Monday because uh, the market, the CTU will be open, but the room will be closed because of the holiday. So I'll see you back here on Tuesday. And then, and don't forget on Tuesday, we are going to be doing a cyber expo. We got a lot of, a lot of great guest speakers coming in. So we'll see you then. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.